Hi, in this video I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, read both questions, read answers and try to choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. Tolnis that is capital T is dominant to Dwarfnis that is small t and uh, while red capital R flower color is dominant to white that is a small r. The heterozygous condition uh, results in pink that is a capital R small r flower color. A dwarf red snap dragon is crossed with plant homozygous photolnis and white flowers. What are the genotype and phenotype of the F1 individuals? And here is a five answers that you may choose from and uh, let's start first with uh, writing down the genotypes uh, of the known parents that we have to cross so we can find uh, what is the possible genotypes of the uh, progeny in F1 generation. So we have um, one parent that is phenotypically red and dwarf so this is going to be the genotype going to be uh, small t small t and capital R capital R and how do I know that this is capital R capital R and not for example capital R small r in simple Mendelian genetics uh, capital R and small r also would m make red color but when we have incomplete dominance like uh, in our example where heterozygous condition results in pink uh, color so I know that uh, red color would mean only homozygous dominant condition for the color so we have to cross with another parent that is homozygous for tallness and white flowers so this is going to be capital T capital T and small r small r genotype so now we have to find what are the genotype and phenotype of the F1 uh, generation so this parent uh, parent 1 we can call it uh, can only donate to the F1 generation small t for the first allele and the second parent because he is homozygous uh, he has uh, two uh, dominant alleles and can donate only a dominant allele so this is going to be a uh, genotype of the uh, first for the first uh, gene two alleles that is uh, small t capital T and the second pair of alleles uh, would be also in heterozygous form so parent 1 can donate only capital R allele and parent 2 can donate only small r allele so this is going to be genotype of uh, F1 generation also we can tell that this is going to be tall plant and uh, it's going to be pink color so let's now find uh, which answer uh, would meet our answer so answer A dwarf and pink we can cross out this answer answer B uh, dwarf and white answer C uh, tall and red those, as you see, the genotype is uh, the same, capital T, small t, capital R, small r, but here is a mistake that is tall and red, but the correct answer would be tall and pink, so we can cross answer C, and answer D, uh, the same genotype as we he have here, capital T, uh, small t, and capital R, small r, and... Uh, phenotype is tall and pink so this is would be our answer and uh, 
we also can uh, cross out answer E because this is different genotype and phenotype. So now we can move to the second question. Skin color in fish is inherited via single gene with four different alleles. How many different types of gametes would be possible in this system? And this is very easy question. As long as we have uh, four different alleles for the single gene, for example, this can be A, B, C, and D. In diploid organism, they can be present uh, as, for example, A and B, uh, or A and C, or B, C, and C, D, and many different combinations. Total number would be six, but anyway, when um, gametes would be produced, only uh, one allele would uh, go into the gamete, and gamete of the males would be sperm, and gametes of the female would be egg cell. So only four haploid variants can be made. For example, for the sperm, it can be A, B, C, and D. So four variants, and the same four variants for the egg cell. A, B, C, and D. And if our question would be how many different variants of the gametes exist uh, or male can produce, we would answer four. Or how many variants uh, female can produce, we would answer four. But because uh, the qu question doesn't uh, uh, give us, uh, doesn't uh, specify which sex, we have to consider both sexes, and that means that uh, total number would be uh, four male gametes, type uh, of gametes, and four female types of gametes. So total number would be eight, and this is answer D. So those, it is a simple question, but at the same time, it is a tricky question. So if your answer were four, I would also consider it a correct answer. But please pay more attention to, to the details. And uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.